The following program is intended for a mature audience. Viewer discretion is advised. This I've got to see. It's worth watching, so stay tuned. Welcome to the C Note Show, gentlemen. It's Thursday, January 7th, and Cynthia's getting pushed out, apparently. Gonna... <laughs> She's like, yeah. Hello. Yeah. Around the corner. Yeah, welcome. <laughs> Cynthia is the only woman allowed on this show, the only woman allowed in our small group coaching as well for her feminine professional perspective. Cynthia is such a valuable asset to, to this. And when she gives guys feedback from her feminine heart and her 20 years of background in this field, I see, I feel so appreciative that she's here. So thank you. Thank you for having me. It's yeah. always an honor and always a pleasure. Yeah, fantastic. Let me make sure my black ball is working. Yes, okay, the black ball appears to be selected and touched now. It's, <laughs> it's heavily touched. Well, uh, yeah, we, our theme of this week is forging steel, all right? It takes pressure and heat to forge steel. And sometimes that's the pressure and heat that we feel inside of ourselves or what's going on in the world. Welcome to the show. We're going to start with some comedy as we always do. Then we're going to dive into the shit. I'm going to draw us something today. Uh, Cynthia and I have been talking about developing a particular scorecard. What do I do every day? What do I do every day, every week, every month to move toward, you know, what we're learning here, the three forms of confidence, the ninja level skills, the caveman and the roommate and the ninja level skills that we teach and David Data talks about. I'm going to present that a little bit differently today. I'm going to do a drawing today. We're going to touch on King, Warrior, Magician, Lover very briefly. And I've got the most uh, comprehensive picture that I've shown maybe twice on this show over the last going on a year we're like 10 months in or something like that nine months going on month 10 or something crazy like that so i've got you're gonna see my artistic skills today uh, yeah. <laughs> my artistic skills and i've got some questions from the forum and i always want you guys to raise your hand so even right now if you want to raise your hand if you have a question or something you want to get to today raise your hand in the participant section uh, i always honor you guys and love for you to ask questions and we're here for we're here for you we saw some guys from our relaunch group i saw uh jason jk as we call him in was ye here yesterday he's not been on the show before yesterday and we've had record attendance this week so i'm super curious to see who's going to be here today so let's get the show started welcome gentlemen i'm happy that you're here I just got distracted by that picture. That was not the same picture that was there six minutes ago because I looked. The picture has changed. Mm, light, just look, look at that picture again. Oh, <laughs> eat, eat her. Eat her. Huh, interesting. That's going to be on six, Cynthia's sexcapade spot. Before it was a woman <laughs> on a counter with a knife. It was too blurry. <laughs> not good enough. <laughs> yeah, not, not good enough. I don't know about too blurry, but... She had lingerie on, so it looked good enough to me. But no. <laughs> yeah, well, now we've got we've got a different one. It's good to see you guys. Patrick Shea is here. Roger, Rob, Ian, Fred, Steve, Mr. Bradbury, JT are here with your cameras on. Love you guys. Ian, I, I look like he had his camera on, but he's just always that happy and on a bicycle. <laughs> That's actually a live picture of Ian right now, strange enough. Yeah, and Randy and Kent, Hans is here. Stout one and only, one and only. Now I'm not going to assume that's all one. Uh, one Nan Donnelly. What's that mean? Kyle's here. Mr. One, one and only. I no, I, I was making a joke. Yeah, one and only is here. Like I said, uh, <laughs> you know, we bop your knockers out. Uh, <laughs> there's a bowl over in the corner you can pee into. Oh my goodness, you guys. Steve wants to see that. Yeah, stout one Nan Donnelly. <laughs> Oh, uh, he likes it. Here we go. So uh, I mentioned at the beginning, I'm going to draw you something a little different today. I've been thinking about making a Great Men Move Mountain scorecard. Cynthia and I have been talking about this. How do I know what to do daily, weekly, and monthly? And JT unmuted himself. You want to jump in there, JT? You want to say something? Uh, was that an accident? What's He's going on? He said you're porky pig in it right now. It's okay. I'm going to, I'm going to mute you. Good to see you. <laughs> you just unmuted yourself. I don't know if you want to jump in. Uh, but yeah, I'm going to draw something today. It's going to be a uh, bit of a different angle of how, what do I do every day? What do I do every week, every month, every year, or in this lifetime of growing as a man step-by-step, step, right? So we have certain concepts. 
Uh, I haven't developed a particular scorecard just yet for, you know, our brand, my brand, Great Men Move Mountains, and I'm going to open that up today. I've been thinking about this for about two weeks, and I had a great idea this morning. Uh, it's been a culmination of working with dozens of guys with these concepts and y'all for nine months now. So I'm going to share that today. Also, I want to preview, I'm just going to plant a seed here, that I've asked Rob Piotrowski to do a values class. Uh, sort of chapter one, what are my nuts? What are my values? I've asked him to do that for two of my relaunch groups. And he may want to do it for us on the c show as well, or that may be a separate class. Bradbury's done the better sex class in the past, and he's been working like a dog and I haven't had a chance to see him. So I want to ask him to do a single one-off class for our relaunch groups as well, more of a ninja level sex class as well. And I've asked Andy Malloy to do some, uh, I've asked him to do some voice work for me because he's such a, he's such a sexy man with his UK voice, with his English accent. He can do some work for me. I also want to talk with him about doing a class as well. So that stuff is coming up for you guys. I'm always pushing, you know, our coaches, Rob, Andy, Jason, uh, of course, Cynthia with their sexcapade spot was a development that we've had over the past couple of months. So we're always bringing new shit to you guys. And my drawing that I'm going to share today, I've not shared with anyone yet not in the way that I'm going to do it today. So I'll share that with you guys today. Yeah. And I'll jump over. Cynthia's sexcapade spot is going to be eat her. Hmm. I'm curious what that's going to be about. It looks like she's, what, what is she wearing? Not very much aside from some, aside from some cream puff. Is that cream puff? That uh, that is? Or flour or, or flour or something else yes. or sugar or whatever, <laughs> whatever else it may be, whatever your imagination would say. All right, guys. So I, as always, I want to honor you and your questions. So go ahead and raise your hand now if you want to get to a question you have today or maybe a story that you have. Definitely want to honor you guys. So raise your hand now or you can raise it, raise it later in the show, but it just helps me kind of manage pacing and the show. All right, let's go ahead and jump into our uh, staircase of courage question for today. So like I always say, if you're not driving and you're fucking serious about this, Hans is here. Good to see you, man. Billy's on here. Silver Fox, baby. Silver Fox up top and down below. No, and hell on. Never mind. I don't want to know. At least not right now. So here's the question. Yeah, Roger wants to know, though. You see that? Roger was like, yeah, I want to know right now. Staircase of Courage question. So punch this into the chat right now. What issue falls away? What issue do I have right now in my life or in my relationship or something that is kind of torturous to me? What issue falls away when you look at it from 30,000 feet? And from those of you that you know, use these meters. I looked it up, 9,144 meters. So if you're flying at 30,000 feet or 9,144 meters, for those of you that use funny math, or funny ways of measuring, which we've done or whatever. What issue falls away when you look at it from 30,000 feet? I spoke to a man this morning from one of our relaunch groups during my walk here in Savannah. We spoke for about an hour about uh, how to face mediation. Let me jump over here, let me jump back. How to face mediation, the discuss over mediators. Uh, things seem to be kind of going well some days and other days not. She's been asking for him to call a mediator. She wants him to sort of lead the charge to call a mediator, but she's the one that wants it done. So there's all these subtle things going on. She's wanting him to lead, but she isn't saying it that way, right? She's wanting him to lead to call the mediator. She wants the mediator, not him. So he's confused. He's thinking of it like, like a man would. Why does she want me to call the mediator? She's the one that wants it. Well, she wants him to lead. She's also uncertain. Some days she flirts with him. Some days she's a giant asshole to him. It's kind of off and on. And uh, they, she brings up politics and she basically starts fights about politics. And I, I'll tell you what, I, what he and I talked about here in a moment. But the big theme of it was, well, if you look at this from 30,000 feet, what falls away? So that's your question right now, your staircase of courage question. What issue falls away when you look at it from 30,000 feet, right? And very rarely is it money. So if money is in your face and you zoom very far back and, you know, Bradbury and Piotrowski, we've been in our local group for years and we've seen men get raked over the coals financially. And then two years later, three years later, they're elated. Like the money issues are all in the past. They have no issues about it, you know, they're not happy that they feel like they got raked over the coals financially, but they've moved on with their life. You know, they're a new man. They're in a new chapter of life. And money is almost never going to be an issue down the road, right? We think it is in the moment, but when we zoom way out, 
it's never really money. It's fear underneath or it's being unclear about our values or, uh, you know, our ego has just been fucking thrown out the back alley and stomped, stomped on. <laughs> or when you To watch the rest of this episode for free and other episodes, go to greatmenmovemountains.com slash VIP. Punch in your info and watch the rest for free. Get more affection, love, and sex in your marriage. Get less paralyzing fear and rejection. Never miss an episode. Watch anytime, anywhere, 3 a.m. on the toilet. Get full episodes. GreatMenMoveMountains.com forward slash VIP. The C-Note Show. This I've got to see. It's worth watching, so stay tuned.